confluence trading is when you combine more than one trading technique or analysis to increase your odds of a winning trade. It's typically when you use multiple trading indicators that all give the same market view as a way to confirm the validity of a potential buy or sell signal. And the idea behind it is pretty simple. In order for a short position to be successful, you need enough people around the world to see what you see, to sell the market and contribute to the downtrend. Similarly, in order for a long position to be successful, you need enough people to see what you see, to buy the market and contribute to the uptrend. The challenge is that in many cases, humans can't analyze market from many points or views or time frames, considering so many factors. They are limited. So the trigger point provide highly accurate points of interest, which is very, very important. Support and resistance with high probability for the market to react. But how can we better utilize them? It was very helpful to get another indications to confirm the position entries when the market reaches the area around the trigger point levels. Tom, imagine if you had someone who views the market for you on different time frames and point of views at a time, who waits patiently for the market to, to get to the trigger points and then generates signals for you while it's analyzing multiple time frames, chart types, and common indicators in real time. To do so, we present the EG confluence indicator. It analyzes multiple time frames in real time and generates entry signals on your chart according to what he sees when analyzing other common indicators like the RSI. And I want to demonstrate it on gold. I think it was uh, yesterday or two days ago. What you see here is the trigger point levels and you see a signal generated by the confluence indicator while considering the RSI indicator built in in ninja trader platforms so we generated the long signal here providing the source of the signal in this case the rsi so so dr levy if i may um the the studies that you are looking at i noticed alligator is being one of the labels on those um bill williams alligator study is what i'm assuming that references um do you does does the user uh, have the choice to pick which indicators they might use as a confluence uh, uh, indicator? That's a great question. I will answer your great question in a few minutes. Okay, great. Most of the indicators are lagging, but when combining them with leading indicators like the trigger point, they may help understand the price action better. And this is the EG confluence indicator. It only considers other indicators, even when they are lagging indicators, when the market reaches the area around the trigger point levels. Mm -hmm. And it is based on, to your question, first the trigger point whose levels are used for position entries. It will not generate any signal uh, on uh, prices that are far away from the trigger points. And it's based on common indicators for entry confirmation. We call them helper indicators or confluence indicators. So to your question, right now we support the RSI, the alligator, mm -hmm. and the EG price section. In the future, we will ex extend this indicator to support more indicators. Mm -hmm. You can see here that every signal confirmed by a helper indicator is generated while presenting its source. In this example, you see that the short signal was generated when analyzing both the alligator indicator and the EG price section. And here you see the RSI to be the source of the long signal alligator and EG price section. So, so real quick, Dr. Levy, I just have a, a, a question because um, having done a lot of uh, analysis of, of technical signals and combining technical single signals in trading systems, you know, a, a lot of times you would, I, I would put in a, a, an indicator or two indicators and I'd mistakenly uh, ask the, the, the charting system to return an indication when both 
uh, signals were true, which doesn't always happen a lot. An example might be RSI crosses above 30 and stochastics crosses above 20. A lot of times, most times, that doesn't happen on the same bar. So is there is there kind of a setup and then another signal happening? Like if the RSI signal is an example, if RSI is below 30 or crosses above 30, not necessarily on this bar, but it happened in the last five bars. Is that kind of something that, that goes into this as well? It can be configurable. Okay. Just like in trading, you have your own set of rules. Yeah. And this indicator helps you not to move that much from your set of rules. So yeah. if you determine that you, you only look three bars backwards, then uh, this is what you need to configure for this indicator. So in these terms, the indicator helps you stick to your plan. Awesome. Great. And the interesting thing is that each helper indicator is forced to process multiple time frames, considering different chart types. It can be Renko. It can be everything. And there's no need to load all these helper indicators on your chart for the EG confluence to function.